Wikipedia. Yeah. Yeah. She lives in Colorado Springs. She's a pianist. She's afraid of sock monkeys. Her name's Laura Sibirowski. Give her a round of applause, guys. my job, left my marriage, and I have a new boyfriend. Thank you. Naturally, some people are worried that I'm moving too fast. My mom, my best friend, my boyfriend's ex-wife. I could tell because she poked me on Facebook before she blocked me. Oh, the old poke and block. I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> Nobody warns you about rushing into a new job. Nobody says, whoa, slow down, spend some time alone with no money. <laughs> so I'm being careful. I told my new boss, look, I like you. Let's just have fun. <laughs> I'm seeing other jobs. I'm practicing safe employment. I hated being fired. They called it a mutual termination. How does that even work? Is that like committing mutual murder, but one of us gets to keep living? Okay, got it. So at the exit interview, I decided to treat it mutually. What could you have done to have kept this employee? Well, I'm putting you on a probationary period. While I'm walking you out with a security guard, here's your box for your things. I'm going to send you down an alcoholic spiral. I was married for five years, no kids, much easier that way. Our biggest decision was, do you want the Ikea lamp? No. All right, done. <laughs> I miss some things about being, married, about being married, like trash service. <laughs> we did work out mutual custody of both Netflix and Hulu. My ex is an artist. He refers to models as bowls of fruit. I don't know about you, I've never masturbated to a bowl of fruit. <laughs> but then again, I've never tried. We're both so much better off not being married. But we don't want to gloat about it. So he'll say, oh God, I had the worst day. You know, I was walking around with this delicious sense of freedom and I stubbed my toe on my new coffee table. I couldn't sleep all night. I'll get that, I say, I got it. You know, last night I was tossing and turning and tossing and turning. Oh wait, that was sex. <laughs> I'm so sorry about your toe. Turns out, chivalry isn't dead, and it annoys the shit out of me. <laughs> my boyfriend makes so much eye contact. I'm all, hey, my boobs are down here. <laughs> Turns out I'm a really shitty feminist. I know because I once Googled, can you one night stand your way into self-confidence? <laughs> there were no results. <laughs> Should have clicked, I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> I like the values of feminism, but not the label. You know, just conjures up this image of man-hating, chip on your shoulder. Of course, I do hate men and have been wronged by them in a multitude of ways, but don't put me in a box. I love being catcalled. I like catcalling men. I'll say, hey, 
Aren't you a fine looking lumber sexual? <laughs> Does the beard match the carpet? <laughs> I have a friend who's a really good feminist. She recently got a tattoo of a clothes hanger with the words, never again. I know there's no dumb questions, but did a dry cleaner really ruin a shirt or something? I get it, sister. Laundry is patriarchy. Thank you. We have a little more. Semenowski again, guys. Yeah. Good job. My beard does match my carpet. It's like Count Dracula.